Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Uh, we learn to create great projects using Python. So today we'll be I'll be showing how we can make an an audiobook creation tool using Kinta and Python. So let's begin. So our goal will be to create something like this. Let me show you a simple view like this, where the user can come click on here pdf file search for a pdf in the in the in the in the system open and then create an audiobook so this will take some minutes so as we wait let me show you as you can see here an audiobook is created so that was what what the code does so let, let us begin first turn this over here here so the packages that we need is kinta by by, by tt tt sx3 by pdf2 and GTTS. So you can see audiobook created created an audiobook. So that's great. So let's close it. Let's start coding. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing and hit the like button. From Kinta. So let's start by importing some some libraries from Kinta import. And then oh kinta not make kinta and then from kinta dot file dialog so this is what we'll be using to open the files import open Ask open file name. And then from Kinta. Import message box. And then we import now this in the libraries from rtt sx3 rtt sx3 and then we will import by pdf by pdf2 by pdf2 yeah so from import g t t s now this is this should be an uppercase t t t s like that and then we import date time import threading this will be to make the program faster. Threading and then we import sub process. Process sub process. Now we'll just write the root. Okay, this will just for, for creating our, our window, our root element, then a root dot main loop. Then now let's start to root dot title. The title for this program, this will be on the top. 
I want it to be PDF to audiobook. So it only now this audio book. Let's set the geometry. And guys, I just learned that these are called uh, are known as Kinter based um, widgets or something. Yeah. You can set that on on Google geometry. We'll set it to 375 by 300. Rush resizable. I want to set these values to zero, the width to zero, and height so that we can just have a small window to work with width equals zero right also we want it to be two we want it to zero. then now let's go and figure the background color rouge dot configure So you will say the background BG equals to I'm using an RGB no uh, I'm using a uh, hex value. You can check some hex values on on Google of any color you want. So do it be using this hex value. So let's see. Is a simple U with that background. I don't know the which color, it has, but I like it. I like it. So now let's create a, a label, an image label. So I'll be also showing you that how to create a label that, that's an image in Kinta. So we'll start with this. We'll be using the photo image widget in Kinta. Photo image. And then file I'll equals to Final the PNG. So let me first get that file. It will be somewhere here. Let us copy it and then come here and download. I want to copy. So where is it? Where is it? I think it's somewhere here, YouTuber. Yep, we paste first that image here. So now we have the image right there. We want to set the width is equals to 600 and the height equals to 100. So now let's Try the label to equals to root love the want to grid it we we'll set any values of any, of, of any columns there then we want to use that to compound equals so the, this displays the element on the left side starting from the left side going to the right so and then again we want to regular here again it's image and so that image equals image now let's see if you have the or not not image the variable there what as image yep so now let's see that will look 
um, option unknown option compound is that right left hmm. so what might might be wrong here uh -huh. image photo image so let me try this let's see oh that's an uppercase that's the problem there so let me let's see if it works hmm. again Rudder configure and configure non option compound. So let's try this. Let's see if it works now. Boom! And it works. And <laughs> what was I writing wrong there? Let me see, let me see. Compound image. Yeah. So it works. So here we have set a background image, uh, a label of an image, and it looks great. So next we'll be creating a, um, an entry box. So where we can see when the file, when the user chooses the file, we can see the file name so let's start message str so i want to get the the file as a string because the main script wants to, wants us to have the file as a string so that's why we'll use the string a string variable a string var or kinta string and then entry box and it goes to entry this is another kinta 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 widget for creating an entry box so and then we write the border we want to create a border width of six border width equals six then now let's set the text variable so this gets the value in, in that we set here the string value that we set here from the entry so message str then now we want to set our font to equals to 10 nothing fancy and then write out the width so this will be the width moving from the left to the right, the size of the entry box. So width will up to 29. And then let's close that. Then now we have, we, have, we create the, we create now in the grid. We set the grid. Entry box the grid set the row to four column we will set it to three and then entry dot place we'll set it to 
the x x will set it to 5 and y is equal to 150 entry box entry box yeah that's it so let's see how, the, how that looks now column something column no i wrote an uppercase now that should work yep yeah. as you can see here we have some nice looking entry book but we we won't be using it to enter any values it will be for getting when the user chooses the file the pdf file and it will display it here in, in the air it will display it right here to be something dot pdf so now let's create a, a function for opening the file for for opening the file now so our function will be open file define open file. let's write that in lowercase and then now we'll, we'll, now here is when we'll use the ask open file name in widget and king tab ask open file name initial directory initial da so here we will be setting the first directory that it will look for the files and then see download and then now we'll set the file types which file types do you want to be the, to be displayed so for this program we, we are searching for pdf so we'll write the file types types equals we'll use double brackets and then text file and set those I want also to look for the PDF files All files. Mm -hmm. Let us look for all files. looking for all files you set that as star and then dot star so you do not set a text file it will be pdf so this this is what shows when you i'll show you how this works Title to the file. Title equals to the file. Okay, that looks good. So let's let's make this look set that there that there that there no, that looks way better and then now 
let's now get get the insert this value when the user gets the file into our entry box entry box insert this is the insert method in Tinter and and then now we want to get the name here this value I want to get to insert it on the entry box now let's create the button that runs this function so we'll call the button we'll create a variable known as files equals button now this is another printer widget such so that to root when the text to be a short name of pdf file so i'll write pd pda file pd file not pdf file pd file so there and then now we want to set the width to 10 so we want just a small button not a massive button be the background of the button this is also an hex value of a color control and, and then now we want to set the foreground to also another hex value Let's remove one of these quotations. Set that. That that's good. Then now we the command to run the Nginter command. It gets it gets to run the function. So our function name is open. File. Party of. So here we'll be only setting the party y so it goes to five we want to set it to five so that we align the the button with the entry box let's set our border width border width to two yeah so this looks let's grid it balance the grid set it on a row of four also a column a column of three and then now let's use our place now where we want to place it place and equals to 287 I want to play with this value so that everything will look will look good that's X and set Y equals to 150 so now let's see how that looks first don't break down uh, as you can see it looks nice and you can click on PDF file here text variable type must be file types initial the parent so we are getting some errors so let me see here Was it something wrong with the indentation or so let us see if it will, it will now work. Let's first close that one. 
let's run it again. So now, now it works for me. Now we want we want to change this one to PDF. PDF file files something like that. So now that works well. You can click here and choose the PDF file that you want to convert to an audio book. So next we'll create the next function now for converting this to an audio book. Uh, I will not code all of this, it's a very long function and I'll just explain it. So I'll just have to copy and paste it here, right here and then explain. So now here is where we let me pull that down. So here is our function. We get the PDF file here from dot get we get from the entry box and then now we open it. Book book this is another variable. This variable is for getting the file from the entry box. Then now we open it PDF file dot open and then I use the PyPDF reader to read the file. So here we are setting another variable for to so that the PDF reader PDF PDF five PDF two library can read all the number of pages num pages. So here it it will read all the number of pages and then now we'll we'll use the the play play so that it can start so now we'll use the pi tts x3 to play the file no. Mm -hmm. yep, 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 yep. So for number in range, number of pages, the page. So yeah, this is a loop to iterate through the pages and get it paid. So here data we are extracting the the text with the text only from the PDF. And then now we'll use the GTTX to create the audio. So let me first remove this. I don't think we need this line here. So we'll use the GTTX to create now the audio book. So here I made it in such a way that each file when you create any file, it's unique to itself. So I used uh, the train the data library to create a stream of of the date of that the date so that it's unique the date time and and then the time also and then now you put here another string plus this so when it says the final file each file will be unique in its own way so and then when it's done we use the message box widget in Kinta to show the info success audio created. So I use this tray block so that when this code fails, it will give us an error. So if you have not inserted like a PDF file, try to run it to give you this error. So and then now here's when I will here's where I've used the threading. So I've set the threads to a uh, an empty list and then define start new process thread process that's the name of the function new thread threading dot thread and then the target will set the to our, our converting function threads and then we append the this file new thread and then now we start the threading process so this will make the program run fast and we won't run into any any delays it will create our files faster so 
now let's create a button to run all of this this is function so now we'll call a we'll name a variable conf should name for convert let's name it create so button another kinta widget that we already know let's have to root let's add the text to create and that to be uppercase we'll set our width to 40 our background to another attribute, uh, hex value you can use this either hex english name for rgb values in kinta so after that now we want to set the foreground to this color let's paste it here and you'll find all of this code on github so you can download it place and have some fun with it so command we want to set it to to this function let me just copy paste it because i don't want to have any typos control v so the party well, we want to set it to seven and go down it and to set it to three wait equals three so that's it for that and then now we'll we'll grid it create we'll grid Kinta is a very powerful powerful library for python i don't know why others other developers hate it but if you are creative creative enough you can create great things with kinta call now equals then now we want to create that place out equals to 45 forgot the brackets there x equals to 45 y equals to 20 so let's let's run it and see how it looks how that looks hmm. now that looks way better so now let's see if the program fun functions as we want it to let's choose a pdf file right here sop and then now let's click on create let's see boom as you can see here on our left corner the audio book is being created now let's wait until you get the message of a success message from kinta so let's just wait, wait, wait a few seconds so if we are, we are not using some thread uh, the, the thread the threads you will have noticed the program will have start crashing right here so they just help us for our program to at least move faster so the program is now still making the audiobook let's just wait let's just wait and see boom audiobook created so here we have our audiobook let's try to play it now so you can see here uh, on the part that according use the following as a checklist during your evaluation bridge hour auto discovery feed. there you go so you can create any audiobook from any pdf file that you want by, by 
this little amount of code so what we want to do here is do some some commenting so here yeah, we'll main function function for creating audiobook audiobook function to this is our function to open files so then I will will format it so that it looks nicer so on Kinta you just right click and then format document boom so now our codes looks cleaner as you can see the spacing the indentation is taken care of by visual studio so that's it for today guys with only 93 lines of code we can create any audiobook using this simple kinta program so please consider subscribing and hit the like button peace